What is going on guys? Alex here with the benchmarks to my £600 gaming PC which I built about a month ago. So this video is extremely late and I know that it is and I'm very sorry about this. Basically what happened is my house is a construction site. There's loads of noise outside right now which is actually stopping me from recording these videos. But without any further ado, let's get into the benchmarks. So the first game that we're benchmarking today is Counter-Strike Global Offensive. I absolutely love this game personally. Um, a lot of you guys are asking what rank I am. I'm actually rank 4 right now so... Um, yeah, I hope that helped you out, I guess, and yeah, let's just get into it. So this is playing at medium to high settings, and overall you can see that it's getting a very high frame rate. I could pretty much put it at maximum settings if I wanted to, but personally I don't see any difference. Although it's never dropped below 60 frames a second for me, which is the refresh rate on my monitor, for some reason still I don't want to put it to maximum. I don't know why this is, but basically I just don't, so yeah. So the next game that we're playing, which isn't a very popular game, is actually BeamNG Drive. Now this is one of my favourite games, and as I've said, it isn't very popular, but still I thought I'd include it in the mix just because I really love this game. So this is playing at medium to high settings with anti-aliasing and anti-strophic filtering, if that's how you say it, I'm not 100% sure. And the minimum frames per second that I get is 58, the maximum is 211, and the overall average frame per second, based on a 10 minute recording, is 86. So the third and final game before we go into the PC mark and the Valley benchmarks is Just Cause 3. Now I've had Just Cause 3 for ages and I never really got around to playing it until a couple of days ago so I thought that I'd do a recording and here's a bit of that now. And basically you can see that the frame rates which are in the top left corner, which I will actually magnify because they're very small, it keeps a constant of 60 frames a second with the occasional drop down to say 48 or a bit lower than that. And basically it's a really good performance considering that as soon as I turned on the game it says that there's a low memory warning because all the stuff that's running in the background even though there's nothing open basically gives me 2 gigabytes of RAM which are actually usable so I really need to upgrade that and get 16 gigs because right now it's running off 2 gigs which is why it's on low to medium settings. Because this PC meets the minimum specs of Just Cause 3, I can definitely say that the only reason why it isn't performing as well is because of the fact that it only has 8 gigs of RAM and I should probably have 16. So basically that's the end of the game section and now we will move on to the benchmarks themselves. So the first benchmark that we did was the Unigine Valley benchmark. And overall it scored a frame per second rate of 31.3 frames a second, which isn't too great. It is on high settings with 4 times anti-aliasing playing at 1080p. So actually, this isn't too bad. The maximum frames per second that I got was 61.5 and the minimum was 17. But overall, I wouldn't say that's too great. I wouldn't say it's too bad, but it's all right because 30 frames a second is pretty much the minimum playable frame per second that you can have. And then finally, we have the PC Mark 8 Creative Conventional Benchmark. And this benchmark basically tests the performance in like slightly gaming and it's mainly creative so like photo editing video editing and overall this scored a 3577 which places it better than 72 percent of all results so thank you guys for watching this video leave your comments down below to anything that you think needs improving for next time and i will catch you in the next one